time, we also have our newsroom working hard on the situation. They're on the phones and they're on Twitter where we've had uh, lots of responses from our public officials out there. I'm ready. Elena Belores is in the newsroom right now with the latest. Maria Elena. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, Tom, we're hearing from a lot of different people this evening. Um, the biggest update, like Asia just said, five patients at Beach General, one person at Princess Anne being flown to Norfolk Centauri General. So in terms of state officials who have spoken out, State Senator Bill DeSteff tweeted that he is horrified by the tragic shooting at the Municipal Center. Pray for the victims, for family and friends. Pray for this senseless and tragic violence to end and may justice be swift for the perpetrator. We've heard from Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax who thanked law enforcement and other first responders in Virginia Beach for their heroic actions involving this shooting incident. He said his team is closely monitoring the situation and will provide any support needed. He says they are also praying for victims and their families. We have heard from Representative Elaine Luria. She said her heart is with all of those injured and affected by the shooting today in Virginia Beach. She says she's also thankful for first responders and law enforcement for risking their lives to bring a suspect into custody. And a Delegate Glenn Davis said, please keep all of our city employees, families and citizens who were at the Municipal Center this afternoon in your thoughts and prayers as we uh, continue to follow this. Of course, we also heard from the governor earlier today. He said his team is monitoring the situation. He asked that people listen to local law enforcement. And earlier they were asking people to stay away from the Municipal Center. Of course, we are hearing that a press conference should be coming up in just a few moments here. So we are expecting to get an update from the chief of police. But in terms of victims, the latest information that we have, just to reiterate, is that five people were taken to Sentara Virginia Beach General Hospital. One person was taken to Sentara Princess Anne Hospital. Nightingale is taking that person to Sentara Norfolk General Hospital. As Stephanie said, Norfolk General is e the level one trauma center in this region. So if someone has more serious injuries, that is where we are expecting them to be taken. Our Jason Marks has been speaking with different sources in Virginia Beach this entire evening. He did tell us that a police officer was shot in this incident, but is okay. He has also said that the building is clear at this point. And he has been speaking with the city manager, Dave Hansen, all throughout the evening. And I guess Dave was talking to him while he was sheltering in place. But Dave told him that they went floor by floor, office by office to secure that building. Earlier this evening, Beach Police told us that they believed there was one shooter and they had that person in custody. So we are still waiting to get the final update when it comes to that information. This all happened around, started around 4, 430 this afternoon in Building 2. Like we've also mentioned, Andy mentioned, there are multiple offices in that building, public works, public utilities, things along those lines. So we've heard from people really awful stories of hearing gunshots and then hiding at their desks, coming outside, hands in the air. Chopper 10 showed you that earlier this evening. So really a horrific scene at the Municipal Center, but we're going to stand by, of course, get that update from police.